If you know, you know. Now, if you didn't know that Ryan Garcia opponent, Sparrow, got arrested because he had a warrant, then now you know. So Ryan Garcia opponent got arrested the day of the weigh-in. So they were looking for an opponent. Now, Dono, the fighter he was supposed to fight, and people was claiming that Ryan Garcia was ducking him, and he stated that if he's going to fight Dono, then he should be the main event. Why will the main event benefit out of his fans? Because as we all know, Ryan Garcia is popular on Instagram and in real life, really. However, you got to have the skills to back it up in the ring. Now, Ryan Garcia turned that fight down. Uh, blamed on Oscar De La Hoya saying that Oscar is trying to blowball him, not pay him enough money, this and that. Now, shockingly, Dono actually wants to fight Ryan Garcia as a replacement opponent for Sparrow the day of the fight. And Ryan Garcia turned that request down. And there were rumors, allegedly, that they offered him a million dollars. However, Ryan Garcia came out and denied them rumors and he also claimed he was in the dark when it comes to Donna wanted to fight him as a replacement opponent and that Golden Boy never nullified him however Oscar De La Hoya stated that he did and he stated that they turned that fight down so we don't know who to believe it's kind of hard to believe that Ryan Garcia wasn't notified that Donna wanted to fight him and he didn't know and he was in the dark in this situation. It just doesn't add up. Why will your team keep that information away from you? You the fighter. Uh, if they want to protect you, obviously they're going to still let you know their decision. So Ryan Garcia is his team. He the boss, right? So he should know these things. However, he claims he didn't. Regardless, it's still a bad look if he knew or he didn't know because Dono wanted to replace Sparrow the day of the fight. I mean, you had a full training camp, so you should be prepared for Dono. And I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but Ryan Garcia apparently is planning on fighting Dono next on November 2nd if he can land it for Canelo undercard as the co-main event so if they could grant ryan garcia his request he will get in the ring with adano hopefully however like i said it's a bad look because you got the upcoming fighters like david haney who just became a mandatory for lomachenko belt and it's calling out lomachenko saying no machenko you got shakur stevenson stepping up to fight for a title getting ducked you got Lopez fighting for a title. However, Ryan Garcia, a fighter that actually beat Devin Haney in the amateurs like two times or three times, and Devin Haney did the same. So they have a little rivalry going on. But in order for him to keep up, he have to fight somebody. Obviously, while Devin Haney is being ducked, while Devin Haney is looking to fight the best, same for Shakur, etc., you got Ryan Garcia is being so protective because he has to focus on his sport than Instagram. I don't know how much he's locked in when he's training. However, like I stated, Ryan Garcia didn't look too well when he did step up like a Devin Haney or Shakur. He didn't pass his test with flying colors. He struggled and got hurt by an opponent with four knockouts with a jab you know so that was a bad look so we're looking to see how ryan garcia will look when he do step up because he could be a star in the sport of boxing maybe the new oscar de la hoya however you got to be able to fight like an oscar de la hoya if you're going to replace his position and be the golden boy of your stable so that being said he has a lot to work on and a lot to prove in the sport of boxing in order to keep up with the likes of Devin Haney's and Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson so he could make the big bucks and be the star that he want to be and like I said his fight is in the ring you know he has to prove that he's the goods and that he has the it factor because Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson prove that they have the it factor every time they step up in competition they massacre their opponent. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia 
been struggling lately. So like I stated, uh, Ryan Garcia has to fight Dono. It's a bad look that he's not fighting Dono next. And he actually was offered the Dono fight, like I said, before Sparrow. However, he stated that he wanted to be the main event. It was too much of a risky fight just to fight him on a co-main event when he's the star, et cetera, et cetera. And it's really not that much of a step up. I mean, Dono, don't get me wrong, he's a good fighter, but he's unknown as well. You know, it ain't like he's fighting a Shakur talent. It ain't like he's fighting a Devin Haney. It ain't like he's fighting an ex-champion. It ain't like he's fighting a world champion. You know, Dono is on the come up just like he is. So sometimes you got to go through uh, a contender or whatnot. Keith Thurman is a perfect example. When Keith Thurman first stepped up and he didn't even fight for a world title, he was just stepping up to become an interim champion. He fought Diego Chavez. Diego Chavez at the time was 22-0 with 18 knockouts. On the other hand, Keith Thurman, I believe he was 20-0 with 18 knockouts. So that being said, Keith Thurman made that step up and he wasn't even the co-main event. So sometimes being the co-main event is actually a good thing. Like I said, you know, why is Ryan Garcia complaining more than he's stepping up in competition? You know, that's my problem with Ryan Garcia. However, like I said, he could be a big star in the sport of boxing. He just has to prove himself and show that he belongs at the top. If he wanna make them big bucks with a Devin Haney, a Tank Davis, a Shakur maybe and the list goes on and on maybe even a Lomachenko but as in of right now I don't see Ryan Garcia beating any of those guys so that being said drop your comments below uh, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute if you're trying to get dumber by the second don't listen to these casual fans follow Lone the tune boxing for the funniest boxing memes follow me at Aki TV all the links will be in the description box below click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live and to be continuing on the next episode of Aki TV peace and we out